what it do what it is everybody and thanks for tuning in to the day by day podcast for your day by day broadcast i am your host day day and that song that you just heard was perky's part two by my bro ty aka still money driller now today is a special episode with two very special guests uh ladies first so to the right of me to the left for y'all we have jordan in the building what it do hey (laughs) welcome to the show not to mention her birthday was what's today three four days ago yes it was four days ago all right cool so we gave her a little shot before the show how you feeling off it you straight yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) Yeah. it was babysitting a little bit but we ain't gonna put you we ain't gonna step on you off that yeah yeah yeah. it's it's still your weekend and then to the left of me to the right of y'all we got my bro cam in the building what it do brody what's up bro welcome to the show Thanks for having me. Not to mention, listen, I'm going to tell y'all straight up. For those of y'all that are watching, a big part of y'all watching is an idea that was inspired from (laughs) you. Because when I first did this, it was all audio. And my man hit me up was like, bro, you got to get these women something to look at. You got to give them a visual, bro. You got to start recording. I did say that. That's all you, though, bro. I ain't never do with that. Hey, hey. And I was like, all right, shit, that's not a bad idea. You know what I'm saying? Um, so let me ask y'all something off rip, right? Both of y'all are involved in the teaching, uh, what is it? Teaching field, teaching industry, correct? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, so were y'all also, uh, teaching prior to COVID kicking in? Uh, I was. You was? I wasn't. You You wasn't? All right. So let me ask uh, you something, Jordan, right? So, you know, of course, everything transitioned, uh, it's up to you whether you say for the better or for the worse. Um, so let me ask you. With everything kind of shifting towards online, at least for the past uh, 10 months, because I know schools are slowly starting to go back in, mm-hmm. um, you know, how was that transition for you as the teacher? You know what I'm saying? Did you, but since everything went online, did you kind of appreciate it more or was it more of a hassle in your opinion? Um, I think it was more so of a hassle because mm-hmm. I'm like a hands-on type of teacher. So I like to be around my kids. I like to touch them, hug them, you know, say what's yeah. up. So it was a little, it was, it's definitely difficult. It was definitely difficult for the transition. Yeah, I, and I can imagine that being for most teachers. Most teachers are probably in it because they like to be in the presence of their students. That's probably where they're doing it. Right. They want to be hands-on and whatnot. Um, that's what's up, though. So uh, the stu- So have you, have you, have your, has your program gone back to, um, you know, like physically being there yet, or are y'all still all online? Um. So my learning center, it is... Half of my kids have gone back, and half of them are still online. So um, it's definitely, they have to get back into routine. Yeah. So. So is it looking like, so for both of y'all, I guess both of y'all can uh, ask since you're in it now. So is it looking like next year things will be back to normal as far as them being back in school? I know, you know, DAPS is going to be different. I know they'll (laughs) probably have to wear a mask. You know, like you said, you like to, you know, hug your students and whatnot. I'm pretty sure that'll have to, you know, slow down a little bit. But is it looking like, as of now, next school year, things are going to, you know, uh, go back to normal as far as the population being back in the building? I would say that's probably how they try and plan it. Yeah. Like, that's probably the blueprint they got it laid out. Mm-hmm. But with the way the, this whole coronavirus mm-hmm. shenanigans is going, yeah. I feel like everybody's living day to day. So, for example, um, they had us going back to school or projected to go back to school in, like, September. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And they just, they, they pushed that all the way back. Till till March of twenty twenty one. Yeah, basically. So like on the seventeenth, so, on, on this month, uh-huh, the seventeenth, uh-huh. we scheduled to go back to school. Oh, okay. Out, so out what you're in PG. So mm-hmm. I so in PG. I think Anne Arundel County already back. I don't know how yeah, that's elementary going. Elementary school's back. Yeah, she could tell you a lot more on that. But um, PG, I know they sending us back on the seventeenth. However, though, it, it I feel like it's one of those type things that um, you just have to be ready. When it yeah. comes, you have to be ready because they say the seventeenth, the fifteenth, or the sixteenth can come, and they probably, you know what, pass yeah. up on that. Mm-hmm. And then, and then the only thing that's about the uh, that's unorthodox is they sending us back to school on the seventeenth, but the students don't come back until April. So the only people that's going to be in the school mm-hmm. is the staff. Staff, yeah, just staff. Damn. So how has the kids been taking it from what y'all seen? Um, do they do they are they rather it like this or they can kind of be home and you know slack off a little bit or would they rather be in the building? Uh, shoot, man. I mean, I feel like my answer is biased because I teach PE, so you know <laughs> the kids they 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 
they always going to favor when they see their marvelous PE coach. Yeah. Not to toot my horn too much. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but um need more like you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um but I'll probably say a lot of kids probably want to go back into the school, but at the same time, the kids do know that they getting away with a lot more leeway yeah. being back home. Absolutely. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So Absolutely. It probably go it probably go back and forth. The only thing the kids I'm sure is missing is the social part of it. Right, yeah. Right. The social part of it. But I I I, I give my kids they flowers every day because I work I work, you know what I'm saying, K through five. My day and age, just me reflecting on that mindset I had K through five, I don't think I would excel with online schooling. Absolutely not. I don't think I could oh, do I it. I was hell K through <laughs> five. Absolutely That's what I'm not. <laughs> Well, actually, no. Since I was hell, I think part of the reason I was hell is because the influence of the people I was around in school. So maybe, For sure. I, maybe I would have did better. Who knows? I know what a slap. I always slap. Um, but what about you, um, Jordan? From uh, the students that you see and talk to now, do you kind of get the feeling that they like it like this, or they would rather be back in the building? Um, there's like a majority that want to stay home, and mm-hmm. I think that um, there's a there's also a majority that want to go back just to see their friends. Yeah. But I feel like there's also a lot of kids that, like, they're not doing well at home at all. Like, yeah. they're not, they don't have no support. They don't have no guidance or anything, no one to help them. So, like, it's only so much that you can get done online. Right. It is different. So let's rewind a little bit, right? Let's say we're in, I don't want to say 12th, because I, I think any senior that had to go through this, I, I truly feel for them. Let's say we're in high school, 10th, 11th grade, right? Right. Would y'all prefer to the online like we said you can get away with a lot more you don't have to spend as much curricular time you know what i'm saying <laughs> pound for pound compared to being in the building you can sleep in you know what i mean no one's going to be over top of you would y'all rather that or would y'all rather have been in the building let's say ninth tenth or eleventh grade shoot i was i wanted to be in the building yeah i was only going to school for the women in the sports mm. You, know what, I'm you know what I'm saying? It. I was only going to school for the women in the sports. <laughs> Talk about the it. grades just came with it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely going to say in the school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and then to jump outside of the range you gave us, college. I mean, for me personally, it was a reason why I didn't want to take no online classes in college. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Again, I was up there for the women in sports. Shoot, the school I was at, the ratio was damn near 20 to 1. What school was you at? Let's Delaware go. State. Ooh. Mm-hmm. 20 to 1. <laughs> go and have some fun. You know what I'm talking about? HBC, HBCU, <laughs> baby. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that online, man. Can yeah. we cuss on here? Absolutely. Oh, man. So, oh, I just had to. Listen, this is. This I, is I, I, I need the, the, the rules. <laughs> this is our world. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, that's, that's a bet. That's a bet. So, yeah, definitely not online. Because my attention span not not that strong anyways. Mm. So I had to be in the class. If you wasn't in front of my face, like, shoot, in college, I had to sit in front of the class just to really stay focused. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because if you put me in the back, I'm going to be on my phone. I'm worried about what I'm doing after these 50 minutes, not what we doing within these 50 minutes. That's a good point. Yeah. What about you, Jordan? I mean, me personally, I went to a predominantly white high school so i would much rather be in my bed you gonna tell them folks where you went <laughs> i was perfectly fine we, you gonna tell them folks where you went i went to Serena park high she was a green horn you all know where that is <laughs> green oh, <laughs> she that, was a green horn first of all we were the falcons <laughs> right. that, that little league was green <laughs> horn <laughs> first of all <laughs> Like down <laughs> that was the little league. Uh, Very much yeah. little league. Shit, but I tell you what, Serrano Park, they high school right now look like a college. God I know. damn. I it's beautiful. It, have y'all seen Crofton High School? No. Moin, nah. Crofton High School. Matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you what Crofton High School look like, dog. Y'all seen Zoe 101? <laughs> <laughs> y'all yeah. ever seen Zoe 101? That was at a border school. It, right? it looked like, imagine you take away the border, mm-hmm. it looked just like that for new facilities and everything. Oh, yeah, I bet. I yeah, bet. man. It's, it's, yeah, it's hard. It's like that. Yeah. But you said, uh, Jordan, you said high school wise, since you wasn't, you know what I'm saying, around your type to begin with, you would have been cool being in a bed. Oh, with yeah. It. What about college? I also attend Towson University. Ah. <laughs> So that's also a predominantly white college. Yeah, but I actually think that, like, I would much rather be in school yeah. for college. Definitely. Yeah. And plus, the classes are shorter, which yeah. make it a little sweeter. Um, that's crazy you say you went to Towson. I went to Towson for a semester. 
um, after my two years at Monroe in New York, Mm -hmm. which isn't an HBCU, but it was only black and Latina. Oh, wow. That's all it was. And it was lit. Well, it it was other countries, too, because we had um, had, our sports would have, especially soccer, would have kids from all over the world, Um, uh, uh, London, Brazil. So we had a sprinkle of other countries, but for the most part, it was all Mm -hmm. black and Latino. Um, and then I, I went straight from there to Towson. Yeah, and and, oh, pri- wow. and, and prior to my yeah. high school, middle school, I've only been to black schools. Right, right. <laughs> Elementary school, I've only been to black school, right? I come to Towson. That was a culture shock for my oh, ass. Oh, my goodness. How I knew it was official. Let me tell you how I knew I was at a, 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 a PWI. You right? bought your first pair of Spurs. Nah, nah, oh nah. I didn't, I didn't, nah. They didn't get me. I wasn't that deep. I wasn't that deep. I wasn't that deep. I wasn't that deep. Let me tell you how I knew I was at a PWI, right? Monroe, New York is cold as fuck. People are layered up. It was oh, still no, cold no, no, when I got to, to yeah, it was still cold when I got to Towson because I got there in the spring semester. So I got there <laughs> December, January, right? Uh-huh. I knew I was at a PWI when every day it was shorts. Absolutely. And sandals. Absolutely. In the middle of the winter. Yes. <laughs> Bullshit you not. <laughs> No, you're yeah, telling you know a very true story. It threw me up. Like, that's very when true. it hit me. Like, Did they had the audacity to have their socks on? Or there was no sock in it? Some was no socks. Some was, yeah. Oh, my. Some was no socks. Yeah. That's vicious. Some was no socks. Now, granted, I seen that in high school at, from Coach Holzer. Cause he always wore shorts with the thong flops, but he was <laughs> he was different. Yeah, though. he's he's from upstate New York. Yeah. Like he hunts deers with bow and arrows. Like he's, oh my goodness. Yeah, but like yo, I mean, like it was just on a regular. Just it's freezing cold. You see shorts and sandals, mm-hmm. and I was like, yo, where am I? But um, nah, shout out to Towson. Ain't no wrong, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, to to kind of stay on the teaching uh part just for one second. Let's rewind again. Let me ask y'all something. Who's y'all favorite teacher of all time? It can be any grade. Mm. It can be college, oh high school, middle, elementary. Who's y'all number one favorite teacher of all time? Do you got one? I do. Go ahead. Do y'all have one? Y'all want me to go I, while I, y'all think? Yeah, I got think. I'm about thinking that. about mine. All right. So mine was. So she was actually my second and third grade teacher. She moved with us at mm. Me- Meadow Lanes Elementary School in Goldsboro, North Carolina. Okay. Miss mm. Young, Miss Kelly Young, mm. a young white lady. She was probably like in her late twenties, maybe. Mm-hmm. But man, that was my little baby for real, man. <laughs> she was just like the sweetest country mm. white lady ever. She was so loved. She loved us so much. Her class. She loved us so much. When we went to the next grade, she ran white with us. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so when we went to the third grade, she did second grade with us. We went to the third. She was right there with us. Yeah, Miss Kelly Young. And I be be trying to look her up on Facebook, but you know how many Kelly Kelly Youngs there are in this fucking country? Uh And I don't even know if she's still in North Carolina, so I can't narrow it down to that. But, you know what I'm saying, I I, got to find her one day, man. You know know what's crazy? I I might can't give you not one teacher. But 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 shout out to all the African American teachers I had, male and female, because mm-hmm. those the ones that really stuck. I had one um English teacher, excuse me, in Macarthur. Her name was Miss Ralph. She taught the language arts. You get what I'm saying? Then I had um we we had Mister we went with the me. I had Mister True Blood. True blood. You yeah, get what I'm saying? Yeah, Mr. Yeah, true blood. True you know blood. what I'm saying? I fuck with true blood. I didn't have him as a teacher. I had him as a coach. Yeah. So, so you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Me and you know what I'm saying? I'm still in contact with Mr. True blood. Solid dude. Um, shit. Uh, coach Dunn. Dunn. I, mean, I was going to say Dunn was yeah, my dog. Yeah, he ain't teach, but I fuck with Dunn. <laughs> yeah, Dunn was You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dunn. He got the twins now, too. I just spoke to him the other day. You know what I'm saying? Was Matter was of fact, though, this is off topic, but we it, 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 the correlation, it, it includes him. This is how me and uh, Coach Don got uh, close. When I graduated Mead in 2014, mm-hmm. he went to Delaware State to go pursue some type of grad uh, degree. Yeah. So when I was up there, he was up he there was with there. me for a time being. Yeah. So, I mean, it was, a, it was a point in time where, like, I was, like, 30, 45 minutes away from the school. It was mm-hmm. They got a mall out there called Christiana Mall in Delaware. I'm hip to Christiana. Mm-hmm. That's in North. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, basically, for those who don't know that, Christiana Mall is, is, our, is the... Uh, the example of Annapolis. So, but it shits on every mall in Maryland, in my opinion. You think so? Yes, bro. The selection there is crazy. Uh-huh. Not to mention that Chick Fil A in the food court there got spicy strips. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You yeah. funny. I got spicy strips. That was that was enough for me. But look, this the whole kill though. I took the bus out there. 
This is mm. my freshman year. I'm flexing, trying to take a little yeah. leg out there. Like, yeah, let's go take, you know what I'm saying, catch the bus, go out there. Mm-hmm. On our way leaving the motherfucking mall, guess who I see in the mall? You're done. Coach Dunn. Yeah. He said, little bro, what you up here doing? I said, shit, I'm up here with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Flex. Yeah, right? yeah, he was like, you know what? You ride back with me. Yeah. So I got, I took it to the ball and got us a ride back. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so shout out to Dunn, man. I yeah. fuck with Dunn. On top of the chicken sandwich, yeah, yeah. I think Dunn, even though he technically wasn't a teacher, I think he should be number one in your books for those two reasons. <laughs> um, yeah, it is different with a black, you know what I'm saying, instructor. Yeah, for sure. Because uh, I know, like, especially, like, in college, man, like, just the influence they had. Um, at a HBCU, the influence they had on certain students was was huge because they really put they allowed us to put ourselves in mm-hmm. them shoes. You know what I mean? And we could really relate to that. All right, did you come up with one, Jordan? Who's your favorite I teacher did. of all time? Since we are talking about black teachers, mm-hmm. I think my I have two because they were best friends when I was in at Serena Park High. Doctor Robinson, she was my math teacher. Y'all had black teachers at Serena Park. We did. Thank you. <laughs> Um, Dr. Robinson, uh-huh. she was strict as can be, but she always helped the black students out. Hey. And she was our math teacher. And it was only about like three, y'all. Uh. Please stop. <laughs> and Miss Woods, Miss Woods, shout out to Miss Woods. I never had her, but she always looked out, bought me lunch. She bought me lunch. She would use to pay for our field trips. She oh, was sure. just, she was that. All right, so shout out to Dr. Woods and, and Dr. Robinson? Yeah. Or was it Dr. Ms. Robinson Woods, and Miss Woods? Dr. Robinson. Okay, okay, yeah. shout out to them. Damn, yeah. so am I Am I like wilding out by not having a black teacher? Nah, hell oh, no. Because no. no. look, because look, I was going to say my, probably, I ain't going to say probably, he for sure in my top five, Dave Lanham. You know what I'm saying? Coach oh, Lanham. Yeah, Lanham was you that You know good. what I'm saying? And, you, and, and for those who don't know, I played baseball in me and outside of that, he gave me a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Yeah. So I mean, he, he was put sharp. a lot of yeah. He, he put was a sharp. Lot of he was tools real chill. He was for really sure. chill, but he was sharp. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure, for sure. Shout out Dave Lanham. He retired and moved to a disclosed area. I ain't gonna put him out there, but he living good though. That's what's up. We yeah, gonna for talk, sure. We, we gonna talk. I'm gonna pull up on. We gonna uh, talk after this. Yeah. All right. So last week, right? <laughs> um, All Star Weekend took place in oh, Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> it was lit. It was a mess. It was that. It was this. Um, it was a little bit of everything. I mean, you had, for one, yo, the car, the car break-ins and the tires, yo. I mean, people were getting they shits left on bricks out there. I'm just uh-huh. trying to figure out what was what was that about. Like, I'm confused. Yeah, they was taking they was taking their tires. One of them rims. Oh my goodness. Taking they t- it was yeah, it was mostly Dodgers. You know, Atlanta mm-hmm. love they scat packs yeah. and Hemi's and Hellcats. Were they because of rims, like or like t- just both? They not. Oh, wow. They taking the whole. They shebang. taking everything. The oh, rims, wow. the tire, and you got cinder blocks. So, right, left <laughs> on, <laughs> left on bricks. <laughs> Like, that shit yeah. was sad. But honestly, that's been a problem from what I've been seeing and hearing, even prior to All-Star. That's been a big problem going on in Atlanta. But shit, since they had so many people coming in, it's already a crowded city. Since they had sure. so many people coming in, shit, they said, oh, yeah, this this doubled up right now. Mm-hmm. But, but speaking on Atlanta, did you see your boy hooping on the two-on-two? Who? Your boy Lil Baby. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what you what you gonna rate his hooping skills? One being the worst, ten being the best he can do. Cause bruh, he was trying to do the best he could do. I know two chain was sick, bro. He two was out there. Was really, like, two chains was out there, the butt sh- naked, I was just about bro. To say, he was, <laughs> he was, he was hitting buckets though. Yeah, he was chains buckets. can hoop. He was getting buckets. Chains a hooper. That's what I'm saying. I know he was sick. Baby was probably capping like he could really. You know what I'm saying he really bought that shit. Man, um, you said what do I rate it? Yeah, one one being the worst, ten being the best he could do. I'm gonna tell you what, man. I'm going to have to give it a one because of this. <laughs> <laughs> Not the one. The funniest part about the whole thing, bro, my man shot an air ball, right? <laughs> so he said, you know what? I'm going I'm to get some points back from shooting the air ball. I'm going to show them I can grab rim. So he tries to jump and grab rim after he shoots the air ball, but only gets all neck. <laughs> and on top of that, when he comes down, he falls. I'm like, bro. What? You know, I'm not going to I was going to say that he might have been lit or something. <laughs> shoot, I, I hope that was excuse. I hope that was his excuse. That bro. that shit was uh, that shit was. What do you rate him? Sure, he might don't get a rate for me, fool. Oh my <laughs> <goodness>. <laughs> hey, he might he, get it. He might get an NA, not applicable. But he was the hottest rapper of 2020, nah, and as been. of now, he's top two hottest rappers of 2021 besides Dirk, probably. And so he performed at the Grammys. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, listen. But I mean, you can't win it all. But all in all, on the court, he's some shit. Yeah, I mean, he's some yeah, shit. Like, boy, that was bad. Of everyone on the court, he was the hottest as far as rapping. So shit. You know what he looked like, fool? Huh. Remember when we remember when high school, bro? 
you play basketball, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, you play five on five. Mm -hmm. And you might pick that fifth person because you know he going to hustle, but every time he grabbed the oh, ball, he going to yeah, pass. Yeah. That's how little <laughs> baby. Yeah. Every time he grabbed the ball, what he was doing? He was getting that motherfucker trying to get the two chains. The hustle, man. the hustle, but that's it. Hell yeah, that's all yeah, he got, boy. That's... <laughs> God damn, bro. Shout out to baby, though, yeah, man. I'm telling you. Um, <laughs> and the crazy part about it is, bro, I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. I ain't even watch it, fool. My man called me frustrated, snap. Oh, because frustrated. It, it was bad. It was bad, bro. It, it was, was bad. bad, bro. It was bad. It was bad. Um, But with the All-Star Weekend, right, another thing that I saw that was going around besides babies, uh, you know, air balls and whatnot, <laughs> it was it was women. Of, of course, you know what I'm saying? It, it was women. It was a lot of, you know what I'm saying, posts and talk about women sleeping in their cars out there. I was there. just about to say that. What's your take on that? How do you feel about that? I just feel like if you don't got the money, if you don't have, not even the money, if you don't have your plans set in stone of where you're going to sleep at, mm -hmm. where you're going to, like, how you going to, personal hygiene and stuff, yeah. you you probably should know when. Oh, yeah, that's all. <laughs> they probably all wet wipe action, too. That's, Bruh, that's wicked. Oh, my goodness. That's not wicked. the way. So, so, so what is the point? Of, so, all right, so these women that are flocking to these, flocking to these all-star weekend locations, right? Because the Super Bowl was Tampa. Where was the Super Bowl at last year? Because it was crazy. Miami, everyone, uh -huh. uh, Miami, everyone was. So when these all-star and Super Bowl weekends are, are held in, you know what I'm saying, like, like, you know what I'm saying, lit cities, when these women are flocking to it, what are, what's the objective? Is it to really just have a good time Probably despite? Too. Or is it to find... Like a baller. You want my blunt answer? Or a sponsor? It's 50 50. You want my blunt answer? Both. He says hmm. both. 50 50? It's Wrong. probably like 65 35. Wrong. Oh my goodness. You think it's 50? Wrong. So, so, I'm going to give you my blunt answer, bro. So, let's hear it. It's all for an image. When women go on a trip, what's the first thing they do? Post a pic. Exactly. Post a, post a, exactly. Post a pic on the flight. It's all for an image. I mean, bro. men do hold that on, too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. I can only speak with one perspective, though, baby. That's why we got you up here. But right now, I got the mic, Queen. So here we go. <laughs> slim. Go, go ahead. You're you, you going to get yours off after he, after he spill his. So, go ahead. So, go ahead. so Slim, I know you can go on social media right now, any platform, mm -hmm. and the only pictures they have on their page is vacation pictures, fool. <laughs> they go on vacation to what? To flaunt it, fool. When a, when a female go on a vacation, they drop a picture. And then they take the whole followers on vacation with them. Mm -hmm. You dropping like 10, 15 little story videos. Mm -hmm. It just all it, it just all before image, bro. It's it's, it's just the image. But why do they have image. to? So why do they have to go to the All Star Weekend to do that? They can do that on the regular anywhere. They don't to have to say go to that Atlanta. They, pro possibly to say that they did it, but you know, you know what I mean. You know, people do a lot for an image, mm -hmm. bro. You could just be going on people spending their last for designer. Mm -hmm. It's an image. You know what I'm saying? An image is, is a lot, fool. Oh man, that, it's, is, it's, that designer image yeah, is it's detrimental a, it's, to it's the a black lot, community, bro. I fucking hate it. It's a lot. I fucking hate it's that a shit, lot, bro. All right, so back to you, Jordan. Uh, what do you have to say to that? <laughs> to what he said as far as it only being an image and back it's, to the percentage that you it's think it is. definitely not only to for an image i don't believe that at all i at, think i think when i think of all star weekend i think i'm going out there to have a good time and i'm also looking for it <laughs> so it's <You> both <laughs> so okay so you're saying it's both i right, i said it, I, hold on hold on hold on you're also looking for you know i don't know <laughs> You looking for what? Reiterate for those who don't know. Please. Man with the money. Tea. Yeah. I'm man with the money. She looking for where the money resides. So money with the T, huh? The money, huh? She looking for where it resides. <laughs> so it's okay. So we can do this. So we can say it's thirty three point three three percent looking for a good time. Thirty three point three 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 percent looking for a mm -hmm. sponsor, looking for a baller. Thirty. Nah. Okay. I think it's mostly the image and the sponsor part. So we can go. I don't know. I, I no, I don't. I don't disagree that yeah. they going for an image, but like you said, I don't think it's just. That's not just our star nah. weekend, and that's also not just women. Like men yeah, do the yeah. same exact and, thing. And you can't do that because that's any any location, exactly. anywhere, any right. vacation. Right. So you can't say that just for the All Star, but I agree with you. Yeah, any, I do, any, I agree. Any I agree. type of flight, any type of vacation, yeah, mm -hmm. and they ain't posting that person who taking a pic neither. <laughs> I'm telling. That's you. the kicker. I'm telling you. <laughs> And you won't never know. That's the kicker. You don't know. It can be her dude. It can be old head Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that that flew her in. You, know? you don't know. You don't know. Old head Carl. All right, so let me ask you all this, right? Sometimes you only need one, though. Yeah. <laughs> nah, for real. I, that's, that's how I move. I'm like, the less I know, the better. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask you all this. Would y'all let y'all significant other go to All-Star Weekend with their friends? 
I would. Without you, you said you would. Would you let your girl uh, Cam? Would you let your girl go to All Star Weekend with her homegirls? For sure. And say it's Atlanta. I'm gonna let her go. What? I'm gonna let her go. Okay. I'm gonna let her go. I'm gonna right. let her go. Because so, I, I, I take it like this, bro. For me to to invest all of my trust in you, which is not an easy task, just, you know what I'm saying? We fully committed at that point. So I'm going to let you go. You know what I'm saying? And then however that go, we're going to take it from there. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, but I well, let them go. What would you them. do? You talking about shout out to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That's spooky. Oh, man. I, I oh, oh man. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying I would stop if I had a girl and she wanted to go All Star Week. I wouldn't stop her from going. But um, man, would you rather let your girl first, go to All Star Weekend or Spring Break in Miami? All Star Weekend. First off, <laughs> first, that's a no brainer. Like, first and foremost, it comes down to the girl, her, her, her clique, right? Her group of friends, mm-hmm. right? You know what I'm saying? If I know they just all the way out there, thought pockets, then it's going to be, of course, it's, you, you, she's going to be in the environment off bucks. So it's going to make it that much easier. We all we all have temptations. No yeah, one's perfect, sure. right? So it's all about scenarios. I mean, I would hope for the best, but I would expect the worst. And that expectation would be twice as bad if all her homegirls is dummies. Like, that's just how I see it. But if all her homegirls is the dummies, you ain't going to fuck with her, though. Bird to a flutter, fuck the gal. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm saying. It, that's it, not true. It, what? Okay, why is that not true? The same. How does it go? Your man's could be the shooter, but you never held a gun. Hold a gun. How did that go? Your man's can be the shooter, but you never held a gun. Yeah, in that go. I can't something give you like that. that one, bro. I can't it's give something you that. Like that. I mean, I guess I can go with that. Y'all know what I, I mean. I never held a gun, but I got homies that get down. Yeah. Um. So, so you say it's not possible for a girl to be in a click of her click is all thoughts, and she's not one. What is a thought? Hmm. That's a good question. What is a thought? Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 brother. Because mm-hmm. I seen you was about to say something. For those out there, I want y'all to think about that too. But that question is really, that's that's a loaded question. Yeah. Because so everybody's just... going to have a different answer. Yeah, so, so I'm going to reverse it. What's a thought in your eyes? I don't think there's a such thing. Ooh, really. Elaborate. Men or women. No. Elaborate. I think that if you're going to do what you want to do, that's what you're going to do. If you're gonna have sex with different people and you wanna, that's what you wanna do, that's what you're gonna do. I don't necessarily think that that's a thought. I don't think that has a name. Now, see, the the, the, the label of thought, it don't really gotta be that detrimental. Cause nowadays, people are like be, being a hoe, being a thought, it's mm-hmm. pride into that now. It's not, it's no, not, right. it's right. not really as shameful. It's mm-hmm. not like in the goddamn 19 or 1800s, you know what I'm saying? When you called <laughs> someone a witch, like it was the end of the world. Like, if you call some, like girls, dudes, people are, are calling themselves thoughts, calling themselves hoes. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, I, I get what you're saying, but I don't think it's still wrong to put that label on them because, like we said, it's it's really some pride in to be calling that mm-hmm. nowadays. Right. Um, but so let's say for this instance, what a thought is in that clip. Let's say every weekend, you know, what I'm saying? Uh, every time they go out, it can be Saturday, Sunday, every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Every time you go out, you hook up with a different person. For this instance, mm-hmm. let's say that's what the thought right, is. Right. And if that click, whether it's male or female, if that click of four. Three of them is like that. One of them ain't. You're saying it has no effect. You're saying it has no effect. You're kind of like it. It might. I don't. I've seen it. I've seen it where. All know. right. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna put it to you like this. Mm-hmm. You know the analogy she just gave you. She said, um, whatever she said. I ain't gonna put the no shooter words in. And, and, right. Yeah. Right. Boom. And and just how you said. You know what I'm saying. You kind of agree. So when that. So so within that analogy, she said you may not be the shooter. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Or whatever. I ain't, like again, I ain't gonna put no words in her mouth. But mm-hmm. but I'm a, I'm gonna reflect on what you said. You said you never held a gun, mm-hmm. but you got some men who done got, got down like that, right? Yeah. So you associated. That's a, that's a correlation. So you could still get somebody touched. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So so if you around that, that don't mean that you won't do that because you have the the intangibles to get your hands on that. Mm-hmm. So it's easier. Yeah. I just look at it as simple as this, right? Both ways. Say say we an all star weekend, you know what I'm saying, with the squad or whatever, whether it's a girl or a dude. The one that's in a relationship, they get into a fight with they with they spouse back home, right? Mm-hmm. Over the phone. A big fight. On some well fuck you then. You know what I'm right. saying? Like I don't, I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Do whatever you want, right? Boom, hang up, right? They don't talk till the next day. That night, 
How's it gonna be? Let's say, let's 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 stick with the girls. Dead night, how's it gonna be? Girl, fuck that nigga. Get one of these niggas out here. Da -da 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 -da. For sure, for sure. But guess what? It's I mean, always it's always single woman giving relationship advice. Not only that, not only that. I'm just saying, it's it just makes it that much easier to do. She ain't gotta be a hoe just cause she with her. But God damn, it's gonna be a hell of a lot easier. We can we all right. Let's go with the fellas. Say we, you know, what I'm saying, say us and three of us, we on a uh, we out at Atlanta for All Star Weekend. Say you get into it with your girl, and y'all talk about it's over, right? That's all I need to hear. I'ma respect it. If you being faithful, I'ma respect it. Why y'all in a relationship? But you be like, man, fuck her. She talking about something that's over. I be like, oh yeah, green light. We got about twelve hours. Let's wild out, nigga. Oh my goodness. That's a fact. Okay. So y'all do the I same. See no, I see. I see. I see. Exactly it right. just it just makes it easier to do. So I would just have to really know. Back to the question that was, you know, said I would have to really know like what I'm. I would have to really know her homegirls, the situation. Mm -hmm. But all in all, it's not like a no. But see, if I'm in a relationship, <laughs> then yeah. But see, mm -hmm. I don't even go that route until I'm 100 percent sure. I'm you, yeah, so yeah. I'm staying away from that until I, I even know. But if I'm that. in a relationship, that means I'm in it. So then yeah. yeah. But shit, as of, like if you ask like right now, nah, we good. You know what I'm saying? We living. <laughs> so, I got a quote for y'all, right? I saw this the other day, and I was very intrigued. Um, All of us, you know what I'm saying, are busy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, y'all in the teaching field, we're constantly, you know, working, you know, getting to a bag, right? So, I saw a quote that said, you either build with a busy blank or babysit a broke one. So, that if, if you know, if you're saying to Jordan, you either build with a busy nigga or babysit a broke one. And if us, you either build with a busy woman or you babysit a broke one. Is there truth to that? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing the broke one is lazy. I was about to say, yeah. I mean, if, if it's if you talking about like laziness, yeah. yeah so let's that's, replace that's that true. with lazy. You either build with a busy nigga or you babysit a lazy one. Yeah. I mean, you got to deal with the busy, bro, because you can't elevate with the one who has no hope, no drive, right. no ambition. Right. But a lot of people, man. I mean, you'd be surprised, though, Yo, bro. You'd be surprised. You're a right. A lot of people have that mm -hmm. from both sides. Mm -hmm. From both sides. There's a lot of girls out here letting their boyfriend drive their car. <laughs> Yeah, and, and that's the crazy part. So it mostly comes from. So f f let me ask y'all this first: who's the who's the better who's the better who's the bigger hustlers out here, men or women? Mm. I think right now, women. What do you think? You know what, bro? To be real, bro. Please do. I'm gonna have to say women too, bro. Let me tell you why I say women, bro. Please do. Because I think if you ain't the oh, better, man. I, I think I, if you're not the better hustler and you're a woman right now, then you hustling backwards. I mean, it's too many. It's too many avenues for women right now, bro. They got the lashes, they got the frontals, they got the installs. Um, you got nail techs. And not to mention, you got some nine to five jobs. You got nurses. Yeah. You got teachers. Oh yeah. Shout I mean, out, I mean, but I mean, I, I mean, but I mean, but we not even. We not even gonna speak on that. I'm just gonna say like, I'm gonna say woman, bro, because you see a lot of men getting the same lane as a hundred motherfuckers in. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna name too much, but you know what I'm saying. You know exactly what I'm talking about. That's a good. You point. know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So you see a lot more, a lot more women getting in their lane and finding their lane. Like the crazy part about it is, and I used to be one of the motherfuckers. Youngest say all women do hair. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, all women need their hair done. So the, so the market is there, bro. Mm -hmm. So if everybody do hair, you know what I'm saying? It's like every every woman need their hair done. Every every woman need their nails done. I, I'm telling you, bro. So the, so so the market out there is for them, bro. They make up. Yeah, the market out exactly, bro. You got makeup artists and like that, bro. That's another prominent one, fool. You well, get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, the makeup artist. Yeah, that's, that's another prominent yeah, that's one. And that on. and that's new, bro. Yeah. That's new. So you're saying there's more avenues for the women? So they they're at a better advantage in that case. Um, I, I mean the the the, I can't really give them a a a, a more a, a more significant advantage, bro. It's just I just had to say who got the drive right now, bro, is the woman. That's just the, just from my perspective and what I see in mm -hmm. in in who I'm around. Yeah. So why do you see the women being better hustlers right now? Um, I mean he kind of he kind he kind of took the words out of my mouth. I just feel like 
personally, I'm just like when dudes approach me and when dudes try to talk to me, you gotta think about like what are you doing with your life? Like if I'm if I'm hustling more than you, mm-hmm. I feel like that's that's a problem, and I feel like that's a lot of women anyway right now. Currently, what, what that are out hustling the dudes? Yeah. Mm. But see, some man, I I agree. I agree. I think women are the better hustlers right yeah. now. Like right, said, right I, now. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> he's right like, now. he's like, we gonna make a comeback. <laughs> yeah, right now, for sure. Right now, for sure. All right, so we 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 got it. You know what I'm saying down packed with not only who the better hustler, but to the saying like, if you you if you're not building with a busy one, then you babysitting a broke one. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the kind of uh, oxymoron to that, right? And if I'm lying, let me know. I know I'll be flying. <laughs> women women are the better hustlers, right? Right. But why is it that more so? Women who have their shit together, who are hustling, are more acceptable to taking in. A lazy nigga who not doing nothing rather than a man with a woman. I don't know. I can't we kind of stray away from, like, if it's a woman that ain't doing nothing, no matter how bad she is, we like, nah, we good. But there's women out here that's mm-hmm. like, it's, it, it might be some that look forward to that. It you know might what? be some. I, I, I think I might got an answer for you, though, bro. What you got? Some, you know, some males are, are kind of hesitant. To, to be in a situation with a woman when they're not the breadwinner. You get what I'm saying? And and sometimes I feel like once a woman obtains that independency mm-hmm. and she is the breadwinner, she might not want to step down from that leverage, from that throne. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Granted, granted, I could be totally wrong, but that's just the nah, answer that's, that just... There's many aspects that go into it. Just now. That's as many aspects. Yeah. I never thought of that one, but that's yeah, actually a sure. good one. And I think also it's plain love. Like, females tend to... Nurture. Yeah, they want to care. They want to build a nigga. They want to uplift. They want to care wanna for You know? I'm just saying. I'm so right. you want to build a young? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she already <laughs> said that's one of the first things she asked a nigga when he try to go smack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What you what you got going on? So what's the first question you asking young when he goes smack? And what do you do? And, that's one of the first questions. And what are the answers that you accept? Um, <laughs> I mean... So if a young and hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, mm-hmm. hold on, hold on. Go ahead. So if a young and say I work at the mall, but I but I got two different jobs in the mall. You fucking with him or not? I'm fine with that. That's Respect. a hustler to me. She looking at the principal. Respect. One hundred. Now what if he say, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot going on, but I'm getting to it. <laughs> <laughs> he said he getting to it. I mean, where's the money to show that? <laughs> Hey, brother, you sound like you said that before. <laughs> yeah, that, that hit a little too close to home. Nah, nah. I mean, we, we, we all been in between jobs before. 100. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but nah, yeah, like we said, there's many there's many different avenues to it, many different roads to it. Um, yeah, now nah, y'all both made great points. Um, how I see it also, maybe just some... It kind of goes to what y'all said. Maybe it can be a woman who was in a, a situation where they got dogged out before, right? No matter what business the nigga was in, right? Mm-hmm. And they like, you know what? I don't want to go through that again. So if I know I kind of got the situation in my hands, I got the upper hand You know hand what else it things, probably could be, though, bro? Then she wants to stay there with it. What up? And some just straight look forward to, you know what I'm saying? You know what else could be? And then again, bro, I'm not sure, but I just thought about this. Some women don't want to submit. So when you the breadwinner and you the superior, mm-hmm. you don't that's have true. to submit. The leverage on your side. Mm. That's true. And that's rising as far as women that, you know what I'm saying, exactly. don't want to submit. Now exactly. that's getting greater and greater. See, but I wasn't going to be the one to say that, so I appreciate you. You said what? I wasn't going to be the one to say that, so I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> what, that is rising? Yeah. Oh, it's clearly rising. Man, a you lot of women. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, that's, sure. that's clearly. I mean, not saying it's a bad or good thing. I don't. And, I, and, and, and then while we speaking on that, and you probably can agree with this too, but. For the women out there, being submissive, it's it's a it's 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 a fine line between it. Like you can't be over submissive, you get what I'm saying? But don't be but don't but 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 don't be reluctant to be submissive. Like it's a fine line. The right amount. It, exactly, exactly. Cause I ain't gonna lie to you, as a man, you know what I'm saying, youngins might complain and shit about some pulling and tugging, but that's what keep a young intrigued. If absolutely. you steamrolling a woman the whole time, bro, you can get bored. Absolutely, you get what I'm saying. So it's a it's a fine line between submissiveness because sometimes if you overly submissive, 
that can create a a a, a negative situation or, or hurting. You get what I'm saying? For, well, no, no one wants anything too easy. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely, absolutely. And then when you overly submissive, bro, us as men, we tend to take advantage of that situation. You know what I'm saying? You give a young in three inches, he gonna take three miles. You feel what I'm saying? You got you got any take on that? No, I'm I'm in agreement. And I got something for you for that, right? right? As you said, no one wants too much, you know what I'm saying, submissive, right? Yeah. So I think, like we said, nowadays, you know what I'm saying, more and more women ain't trying to submit. For sure. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Do you. Do you, boo. I ain't mad. Nobody about that. No. Um, so <laughs> it can cause, like, I'm trying, I'm trying to see how I want to say this because even women that don't want to, right, they still have that tiny pinch amount. Mm-hmm. If the right nigga comes along, mm-hmm. they can bring it out, mm-hmm. right? Um, but you got to show it away. You said what? You got to show it away. Yeah, but see, not a lot of niggas know that. And here's the here's the kicker, right? And I learned this from older women. I I love hearing shit that older women like how they think and how they move, right? I hear this from older women, right? Older women told me, and I, I seen I saw I saw her dealt with someone who's more like an alpha type, right? And you know, she was more sub- she was on the submissive end, not a whole lot, but just a right amount mm-hmm. for both of them. That's you know, have that have that great chemistry, right? Right. Then I saw her deal with, um, not so many, not maybe submissive men, but men who weren't as alpha type, right? Mm-hmm. And I would notice that she didn't submit at all for them first mm-hmm. and foremost. And not only that, she bullied them. Mm-hmm. Like not to the point where you know, like, mm-hmm. all right, this is out of hand. But yeah. she would kind of like run, like walk over them type yeah. shit, and he so didn't have control of that situation at all. And, and see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Maybe it's like that because maybe you know what I'm saying how it is more women nowadays. Because maybe not as many men know how to be that certain type of mm-hmm. alpha. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's not the easiest. You know what I'm saying? No, Especially with, with a woman with some with some, with some some bite to her. Right. And let's be honest. Black women have bite to her, but that bite is what makes them more attractive yeah, to me. Yeah, we love it. Like, I don't want nothing that's just, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? We love it. Um, but since it's not that many that can bring that out, maybe that's a situation why, you know, the women are in the upper hand. Because what they told me, what the women that I'm talking about, what she told me was, <laughs> it was kind of wicked, but I'm like, mm-hmm. yo, that I, she told me, when I deal with a man and they show me the slightest bit of weakness, they show me that little chink in their armor, mm-hmm. I take full advantage of that mm-hmm. and I, I dominate that. Mm-hmm. That chink in the armor, I, I, I fully expose and take advantage of that and I bully them. But Not you know bully them, but... But you know what she's doing though, bro? What? She's... She's identifying the challenge. The same way I ain't going to put us out there or nothing. But the same way when we was back in them primes, you know what I'm saying, in primes, you have a woman who who was overly submissive, bro. You know you can get away with everything. And you find it. And and the thing that you're finding, bro, is you're finding that niche on how you can get away with everything. Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing she doing, bro. She just put it in two different perspectives. You get what I'm saying? Because everybody need that challenge, bro. Like. If you're not going to challenge your partner, bro, and your child and your partner not challenging you back, bro, yeah. y'all not going to elevate. If you about if you if you really got that in you, not yeah. a lot of, not a lot of people can handle it. Yeah. So nah, if you really got sure. that in you, then yeah, it is needed. For sure. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe, <laughs> maybe the woman may be the better hustler, got the money, got better things going for her. But, um, damn, what was oh fuck, I had a good one. Maybe the woman, you know what I'm saying, babe, be the better hustler, got mm-hmm. better things going for her, but. That dude, like we said, it's just less cases of him being able to balance out mm-hmm. both of the chinks and both of their armors. There's right. many aspects that go into it. You right. understand? Long story short, from For how, sure. it's, from, a, it's a lot of variables that go yeah, into it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From what we was talking about out there, um, but shit. So let me ask y'all this, because I was, <laughs> it might be petty. I was watching Smoking Aces. It was a great movie. It has a great cast, great lineup, and I love Alicia Keys in the movie. I think she was fucking. Yo, she looked amazing in that movie, right? Mm-hmm. That had me thinking. <laughs> Could y'all date someone who left someone to date you? No. No, you lose them the same way you got But them. let's say this. Let's say this. Yeah, that's 
pinpoint right there. But let's say this. <laughs> let's say the person that they with, right, even before y'all start dating, talking about, you know, uh-huh. it's a bullshit relationship. You're hearing it from one side. It's a bullshit relationship. It's toxic. It's this, is that. I'm trying to leave their ass anyway. But they still together. But then they just up and leave them and go right to you. Mm-hmm. Does that make any difference? They was talking about how the relationship was trash anyway. You know what I'm saying? Nothing was really clicking on any angle. Nah, because they, they, they didn't take no, that opportunity to heal from that situation. So everything that they endured within that situation, they brought right over to the home that y'all trying to build. Mm. That's deep. Could you? I think I, I might have before, but I, yeah. I don't, it's never gotten like to a relationship where I just, it's like gotten as far as like talking. Mm. And then obviously he said like, you know, you start to see the stuff, the very reason why they, his last relationship didn't yeah. work out. That was a great point. You 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 spelling out some junk, bro. You, <laughs> you're going deep with some of these topics. I wasn't even thinking that deep. That was a good one. I just I just played on the surface. Like you said, you lose them how you get them. Yeah, like sure. I've seen that firsthand. And not to mention, I was, so I was in a situation where I was the one that left someone. Mm-hmm. For the other person. But was he trying to fill that void, or did you really fuck with that individual? I feel like that's a difference. Nah, um, it was, I just thought I saw myself better with the other person. Mm-hmm. Again, I was young, I was kind of, you know, uh, mm-hmm. a little a little colder, but um, I just thought I, was, I just thought it was a better fit. I thought it was, you know what I'm saying, a better vibe. Everything was better with that other person. And it was still kind of early with the person that I left. Yeah. So I was like, eh, okay, you know what I'm saying, and I, and I jumped ship. But then again, it's crazy because then when I got in that one, like both of y'all said, mm-hmm. I kind of found myself like, damn, the vibe ain't really what, like I ain't even really vibing with this one like I thought I was. Yeah, but as a man, you naturally you naturally attracted to a, to a physical, you know what I'm saying, presentation or something. But you weren't. You not saw what you're saying, are you? You're huh? not saying you were attract. You were just attracted to the physical presentation. That was a bonus. That wasn't the main reason. Right. Nah. That's what I was like, yeah. No, nah, but the physical presentation or something could be the situation that you that you deem could be more successful than the past situation as well. Because but that you, wasn't solely it. I just went off of a vibe. I'm like, I think I can right, get along right. with this one. You know what I'm saying? But no, yeah. the the physical is probably like the main reason. Yeah, for sure. Nowadays, shit. I mean, a Kodak <laughs> Kodak took somebody girl. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what was it like Valentine's Day? It sure was. Yeah, God, damn, that was <laughs> that was sick. But he took some one girl on Valentine's Day, and I'm pretty sure she didn't do it for the vibe. She did it for the bread. Probably mm-hmm. did it for the status. You know what I'm saying? Kodak up there, so you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying the the hype, everything. I'm pretty. I mean, it might have been for the vibe, but regardless, that's not going to be a good situation in the long run. Look at Uzi. You know what I'm saying? Didn't he like take his girl from somebody? His old joint with the pink hair? I don't know who you talking about, bro. Hmm. Um, what's her name? What's her name? Brittany? I don't know. He might have I'm not really into th- I mean, I don't know. I I heard it. Love, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think... I only know about him and JT because they've been Yeah. All over the internet. Yeah. With it. Shout out to Uzi. I ain't mad at him one bit. You over there looking like a city girl with your sunglasses on. Call me JT. (laughs) They they (laughs) fucking around probably do. Show him the nail. Period. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, bro, you a fool. (laughs) Straight set her up. (laughs) Hey, bro, you wild, bro. All right, so listen. um, Listen, so for those who don't know, Cam, right? So I don't know. was it Fridays or Sundays when you would have the IG live debates? And, them, man, them things was good, bro. <laughs> them things, I'm telling you, those got to stay. Do not stop those, bro. I'm telling you. So for those who don't know, I think it was like every, what was it, Friday, Saturday, or both? It was like a random day. I think it was like a Tuesday and then a Sunday. But you, like, on the Sundays when you was kind of getting something going yeah, with the Sundays. So yeah. you would have, you would get on IG live and have great topics to discuss. One yeah. of which was the... I had, the, the, on Tuesday, the first one I had, or the first ever one I had on Tuesday... I was speaking on do an individual stock drop, stock meaning value mm-hmm. drop when they hit the dating market as a single parent. Right. So if you hit the dating market as a baby father or if you hit the dating market as a baby mom. And basically I was just asking the audience, would you accept a man with a child? And I was asking the audience, would you accept a woman with a child? And that shit went back and forth. You got some yays, you got some nays. Yeah. You got some hell no, you got some yeah. You know so we ain't going to completely reiter- reiterate that exact topic and how mm-hmm. it was laid out. But I do want to ask y'all, do you got to be a step-parent to date after 25? 
Do you have to be? I mean, I know person? technically you don't have to, but like, does it seem like more cases than not nowadays when you try to date, you know, the person may have a kid, you may have to be a step parent down the road? So to be honest with you, bro, I'm going to tell you no. I feel like it's a lot. It's, I feel like it's a lot of females out here who don't have children. But I'm going to say this, though. It's a lot of attractive females who have children as well. Why you think so, they got the kid? I'm telling you. Bro, you ever see someone with a kid, a girl with a kid, and be like, I completely understand. Bro, you know what? You know what's crazy, though, bro? Now that we te- now that we speaking on single mothers, bro, you know what get me every time, bro? What? When a female, when when they hit social media, bro, and they present their blessing to social media, and they can't post the baby fathers on social media. Like you seen you you ever seen a female she have a she have a baby shower and it only be one chair up there fool? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That should be crushing me every time, yeah, bro. That's sad. That's but sad. shit, most cases that don't even be her fault. Nah, it don't be her yeah. fault though, bro. I'm talking yeah. I, it, it it be the fault on on the young men like me and you. But it but you know what I'm saying? It hit me every time though cuz you always see her. Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm saying? It's only one chair up there at the baby shower. Mm. It's it's like eighty percent of the time it's a lot of niggas even now because I mean shit the shit but it happened with a lot of us you know what I'm saying where yeah. our parents or someone we know older than us you know what I'm saying found out a pregnant in debt you know what I'm saying so yeah. it's dead beats dead beats have been alive since way back when yeah. you know what I'm saying it really probably came alive in like the sixties seventies eighties but mm-hmm. it's that shit ain't go nowhere yeah. but also what I've noticed. Women will use a nigga for that kid and, mm-hmm. and wipe their hands and wash mm-hmm. their hands. I'm telling you. That shit is ducked off. That's low key. That ain't really out there, but I'm starting to I'm hold starting him, to put two and two together. a kid as a chest pump. I'm starting to put two and two together and see that, that some women yeah. are using a nigga for a kid and then washing their hands. They was just like, I just wanted a baby. Maybe they just wanted that nigga's features. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I just, you got brown eyes. I wanted my baby that brown eyes. Mm-hmm. Or, or, you know what I'm saying, or my sister or my cousin or my best friend got a baby. I need a baby right now so they can turn up together. <laughs> oh. Yeah, for a- sure. Am I lying, Jordan? No. No, I didn't. You're not lying. No, pressing that narrative. But it goes both ways. Like Absolutely. I said, it's that and it's, it's just dead. But dead you know, problem. men be doing that too, though. Oh, yeah. It's way That's more men doing that than women. Yeah. Men definitely yeah. be doing that. Like, I, I want you to have my baby. I want to I ain't wanna say the other half of it. <laughs> <laughs> You caught it. We was about to change topic. <laughs> yeah, look I wasn't even gonna say the other half, bro. Don't do that. <laughs> nah, that's a fact. Yeah, uh, you right. Yeah, that, nah, it's, that's it's, why you up here. Yeah. I got his baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, it's it's for a fact more men doing that than women. Yeah. Have mm-hmm. you ever thought of? Uh, listen, <laughs> I'm gonna be blunt, bro. I wanted kids at 22. No, no, no. That's not what I was gonna ask you, Cam. It never happened, though. Be honest. I'm going to ask you this. Has it ever been a girl where you're like, yo, I ain't going to lie. If the stars aligned, I would get her pregnant. Oh, yeah, bro. I had like four or five of them. <laughs> Damn, you were Y'all sharp really shooting. do be having a lot. Like yeah, I've only had like of two of those. Like four or five of them. <laughs> nah, I've had three. I've had like Not four. you counting. You had more than that. Three. It's, it was three. I've only had three. I've only had Whatever. three. I've only had three. So you never had no girl like you, you hitting her. You're like, you know what? If it go that route, like... Shit, I, I don't think she'd be a bad baby mother. You know what's crazy? Tell me if you ever done, especially you being an athlete, if you uh-huh. ever done this. I've two out of the three, mm-hmm. t- two of them, right? Right, has been on some yo. She was an athlete too, <laughs> and I'd be like, yo, oh, our goodness. kids would make would be some great fucking somebody athlete. going to the league. <laughs> 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 you never done that. Absolutely. I was already saying, I feel like a dickhead. I didn't go through with it, but I'm saying, like, if it came down to it, if the stars truly aligned and I really had that fuck it juice up in me, aka that henny, I'm just saying, (laughs) I've thought of that where, like, it's like, I'm like, damn, yo, our kids will come out. I wouldn't force my kids into athletics, but if they, like, if if we had kids, man, there'll be some fire ass athletes. I've been down that route before, but like you, like you were saying, for the most part, some niggas just do it to tie down a girl. Yeah. It's a, um, it's a placeholder, bro. Does that work though? Is that working? I don't know. I wouldn't. I, know. I, I've been asked more than a few times. Word to have someone, baby. Me saying I got no kids, so I can tell you it hasn't worked for me. Damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that right nigga gonna come across ain't Jordan. Ain't, never, ain't, ain't, ain't nobody stepped up to that plate yet. That, <laughs> somebody, some, that somebody right nigga gonna, gonna hit come him on across the Jordan. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That, that right night, y'all got that right, right, <laughs> right, ju- right ju- Y'all got that right juice up in you. The stars is perfectly aligned. 
You know what I'm saying? He come he come down to your ear, whisper that sweet shit in your oh, ear. Oh man. Stop. You be, you be <laughs> fully committed. <laughs> you know you're gonna have my baby, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's exactly right. how I was gonna right. go too. Right. Right. Yeah. You're gonna, you gonna say it the right way in your ear when when y'all in that right position and it's a rat. <laughs> but so what's kept you from, you know what I'm saying, um, going down the route? Cause some girls is it easily gets them, you know what I'm saying? So what's kept you? Like what goes through your head that makes you say, nah? Um you talking about like during, like or me like me thinking about it, or like yeah. During so for like the the, the past course. situations of dudes that's you know what I'm saying brought that upon you, like yeah, I want you to have my kid. I mean, like, I what look kept at you from? I look at how his family acts, mm. how he was raised. Cause mm. if if you want a baby, I need to look at your family history, how your family, if your family is hood and. Y'all got, I'm just, just saying, y'all got kids running around, ain't nobody watching the kids. <laughs> My kid's not going to be doing that. Respect. My respect. So I, I just be looking at, like, you know, the background. Okay. That's what's up. Uh, see, I, I'm that's the first time I've heard that. I wouldn't even think of, I don't think a lot of women would even, you know what I'm saying, really con- truly consider that. Like, really look at what raised him. Like, you want to raise my kid, I need to see what raised you. Right. Right. That would be transparent towards you raising my kid. All right, that's what's that saying. was a good answer. Yeah, it was. What 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 you say they call you? <laughs> JT. <laughs> uh, right, because everybody trying. Yeah, I'm gonna give you what you need. You. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna give you what you trying, need. Everybody trying to get that JT right now. Shit, I will get her pregnant right now. The fuck is you talking oh, about? Oh man. So hold on, back to you. You said you at first wanted kids at 22. Yeah. So what kept you? You're past 22. You ain't got no kids. So what what kept that? What halted that up? Shoot, bro. I want a traditional family. That's really mm. what it is. Mm. I want a traditional farm. Like, I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. I ain't gonna sit up here and, and, and act like I ain't never had no pregnancy scare before. Oh, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Just, just, so, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The, the ball was never in my court for real when it came down to that. It Just the way the cars dealt. You know what I'm saying? We took the path that we took. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? I don't got no kids. But... Yeah, I want a traditional family, bro. That baby mother shit and stuff like that, bro. Like, I got some men that's going through that right now. Going through going it. Going through it, bro. And and, 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 and and no disrespect to nobody that's in that situation, because that situation can be successful. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that's what, just, oh, but, co-parenting? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But that situation can also be detrimental as well. Man, women, I would say you. a woman will either be your greatest asset or great li- greatest liability. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oof, that shit can get ugly with it. Yeah, but some sure. some co parenting can be good. Um, speaking of co parenting, you said you want a traditional family. Ask this from both of y'all. Yeah. Would y'all be cool with, um, like, co parenting? Like, uh, what's the word? Like, a open. I guess like an open relationship co parenting type of thing, right? Let's say you have uh, two BMs, whether it's at the same time or mm-hmm. not. But everybody gets along. Mm-hmm. Y'all raise the kids on the on the same path. Like all the kids taken care of. You know what I'm saying? Both. Of the women taking care of mm-hmm. all that, would you be cool with that? Would you be cool with that? You know, you being the woman, or you you being the one of multiple women in the situation, and you being the men in that situation, could y'all do that? You you looking at me? I'm just leaving for him to answer. <laughs> Bro, I feel like I could do it, bro. But I don't want to. It ain't, bro. Me and you, me and you know, bro. It, nothing is simple when it comes to these black women, bro. It's not gonna go down smooth sailing, bro. Cause gonna you gonna favor, you, you, cause you, you, one. you gonna favor one. The mm-hmm. other one gonna envy the favor that you That's get the other. That's not true. I mean, you say I that. Feel like it's, time I, out, time out, though. Time out, though, Queen. You say that's not true from your perspective. Mm-hmm. You might not be one of the two women in that situation. So that's not true on your behalf. But let's say I let's let's say it's true. not the favoring. Let's say you love both of them the same. Like they both truly the two best mm-hmm. things you ever met in your life. But since it's the two best things you met in your life, y'all really sat down and came to an agreement. Oh, yeah, that it's we might be gotta do some a, research a, on the love triangle. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. So what's your take on it, Jordan? Could you be in that? She was already in the love triangle. No, it wasn't. Who was that one? <laughs> <laughs> she, I'm not like, she was right. sorry. <laughs> that was a good setup because if she if she really was, then she would have slightly, you know, what I'm saying, dog the mouth for that. But Anyways, you, um, it, it won't Jason and Jerome. <laughs> Can you like mute him? The hell. <laughs> um, I've never na- dated anyone named Jason or Jerome. Um, but I. I oh yeah, they was Caleb and Cody. You would have thrown the park. I'm <laughs> Zach and Cody. <laughs> Zach and Cody was scheming. My fault. We done. We done. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
<laughs> he's an influencer. He's a fucking, he's a fucking influencer, bro. <laughs> You just tag team and I'm yeah, okay. I, 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 um, I come done, no, I, I couldn't done. be in class with you, bro. I wouldn't have got shit done, bro. You're one of them niggas that like good kids sat around and turned evil, bro. <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead, Jordan. No, I feel like it could be done. Mm-hmm. I feel like... Not that I, I... I said it's not... I said to him that it wasn't true mm-hmm. because I feel like it could be done. But I understand his perspective, and I understand that that is what happens. It's like real, yeah. that's real life. Like mm-hmm. some situations, and I know this firsthand because I have very close family, family members that I know this happens firsthand. Some situations, one one daughter is her mother is, you know, mm-hmm. not really mm-hmm. there for her, so she has to go to her father. Her father has her every week. Then the other daughter. Or son, the other son, he not, he, his mother is very, you know, there for her, him. You yeah. know what I mean? So he he doesn't need to, per se, the father thinks that he doesn't need or the child doesn't need them as much as the other child does. Mm, okay. So I feel like that's, in that sense, it's not fair either or. You should give your time to book your kids, all your kids. If you got seven of them, all of them should have equal. Yeah, but see, wouldn't that make it? Wouldn't that make it? See, that's what I'm saying. It would make it easier to equally spread the love throughout to all the kids because right. everyone's under one roof. I actually have family who does that, so he has um like man, he has like ten. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say this. Oh ten to ten to twelve kids by multiple different BMs. Oh, he but they're too. but they're all. I, <laughs> we'll talk. I can't put his business out there. You know what I'm saying? Because he. I don't he want it. You know what I mean? He, he's not the average Joe, but they're all under the same roof, right? Everyone. Everyone's under the same roof. They take turns watching the kids, and it works. It's all love. It's mad love underneath that roof. You know what I'm saying? Everyone take... Now, I don't know if he's, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, like, what is it? Plutonic? Is that the word? Plutonic. Uh, yeah. What's platonic, platonic mean? Uh, he, that you're not having sex. Okay, see, I don't know if he's platonic with some and, you know what I'm saying, knocking some boots. I don't know that part. <laughs> but as far as for the for the kids, everyone's under one roof. They take turns watching the kids. He makes sure everybody's straight. Mm. So in the, at that aspect, it can be, yeah, it, it can be cool. I I used to, um, <laughs> I don't know, I really wouldn't mind that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it really came, like, I really wouldn't mind that for the part of, if I, if I, but see, that's like a one in a trillion. If I truly found like two women, I was like, okay, these two are perfect for right. me. You know what I'm saying? And I know, like, you know what I'm saying? One wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, trip off the other. And then, you know, we could raise the kids together. But like you said, and women in general, one is a mission. So two, it's going to have some negatives. It's yeah, not all, sure. it's not right. straight Lou right. Will. You know what I'm saying? You don't get the straight Lou Will. Uh, title you're gonna have to like really put some work in, but I'm glad she over there talking about some right. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm glad. listen, but like we said, that's what that's what we like. For sure, we, we like that. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Don't no lion want no lioness that don't. What them lion animal planning and shit? Them lionesses be getting busy at them lions when they act up, right? Sure. But what do he do? He go right back next to her and lay down and I act do right. That. You know what I'm saying? Don't right, worry right, about right. It. Yeah, so <laughs> shit, we like that. But the but the jealous part can kick in. I know we kind of said, yeah, but I'm saying that now because I mm-hmm. thought about it. I'm going I'm to be a buck with y'all, right? I ain't have two girlfriends at the same time, but I kind of did. It was on vacation. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? So it was like we knew like afterwards it wasn't going to be nothing. But like right then and there, like I kind of had like two two on my arm at the same time type shit. Mm-hmm. And I, I thought everything was Gucci. You know what I'm saying? She was living the dream, boy. Uh, listen, <laughs> if I'm lying, I'm flying. But like the next night. And you know what I mean when I say that? The next, or the uh, day after, the next morning, <laughs> like, I was with one of them. And I was like, yo, what the other one at? Like, let's link. Mm-hmm. She's like, why? Why? You, what you need her for? Why you need her to come too? <laughs> so that shit could easily, I mean, yeah. that, that comes with it, that comes yeah. with it too. That comes with it too. Because she felt like she wasn't priority. Bro. Yeah, I wasn't saying, like, where she at so mm-hmm. she can, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted 50 50. I wasn't mm-hmm. saying you were zero. She was going out with a bang, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you really don't look like what you talking about right now. So time out. So time I'm out. Humble. So, I'm humble. I'm so time humble. out. So time humble. out. We gonna put very it humble. like this, cause I got your pain. So let me ask you, Joy. Are you gonna? Ent- would you entertain a man that approached you and informed you that he had a child? Of course. You entertain him? I would. I have. Most of the times. That's not a a child's not an issue to me. So what only the- when you have to take care. You need to. 
I need to know that you take care of it. No, oh, Debbie, okay. that's not for me. I was going to say, that. so what are the prere- prerequisites on his part? Yeah, like, I'm not talking like you see your child every other month. Okay. I mean, like, you know, situation-based. Like, yeah. I'm saying, like, you need to... You need to take care of what you got to take care of. And that's not just child support. I'm talking about you need to take your child and do things, not yeah. just watch TV with them. Really be there. Yeah, be an active father. Mm-hmm. Not just pick him up every other week, take a pic of him and his child wearing the right. same sweatsuit. <laughs> you bought him some shoes two yeah, weeks ago, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Really being there and re- really getting it done. Right, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely for that. I'm, I don't mind at all. Okay. All right, what about you? Because this was your topic on the on the IG Live joint, and I know like we talked about it, but yeah. let's for those listening and viewing, um, yeah, listening and viewing. So, what about you? You know, what I'm saying a, oh, a, a nice lady, whether you approach her or she approach you, you know, what I'm saying I, I'm hoping you approach her, and she has a kid. You know, what I'm saying what we what we doing with it? I mean, off the break, I'm gonna be standoffish. Off the break, I'm gonna be standoffish. Probably not gonna fuck with her, but you can always gain them them them. You can. You can you can you can raise your stock through conversation and through observation. So if she has that hustle, she has that drive, and and she's um, providing for her child. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not only her child, but herself and her child. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a difficult task. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Already, that's going that's going to be attraction. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But just as a man, and you telling me that yeah, that I'm somebody, baby mother. That's going to make any man hesitant in the situation. Oh, no, not to say that you might not fuck with her, mm. but you know what I'm saying? You're definitely going to tap the brakes a little bit and, and, and step back and reevaluate that Yeah, situation. really see the bigger but, picture. But, but I ain't going to lie to you, though. While we on this topic, though, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to shout her out. You know what I'm saying? Most of you would probably know her. Shout out Mercedes. She, um, she came on a live that time, right? And she said she would, but um, mind you, not not trying to put too much words in her mouth, but she said she would, but it depends on the situation. I'm like, what you mean depends on the situation? She said it's a, and this is the first time I really thought about some shit. So so the perspective she gave me was it's the difference between a baby, a baby father and a baby mother. You know what I'm saying? And a father and a mother. So the so the definition that she broke down, she said a baby father is a father who's still tapping in with his baby mother, still messing with his baby mother. A baby mother is a mother who's still tapping in with her baby's father. You know what I'm Still fucking with him. But a father is somebody who just takes care of the child. Mm-hmm. Mother is somebody who just taking care of their child. You know what I'm saying? So when she broke it down like that, and I told her she should have been came on alive because she came on when, when I was ready to get off and shit. Mm-hmm. But, you know what I'm saying? When she broke it down like that, that's a that's a, that's a a big that's a big adjustment at that I was point. about to say that. I mean, that might mm-hmm. be the, the only... Like, that might be the sole problem. Like, you really... Don't know if they still dealing with each other. He yeah. could, you, the girl could say it, the guy, could, the father yeah. could say it, but you really don't know yeah. until you see it. Yeah, but when she broke that shit down, that, that, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that, that, that gave it a sense. lot of clarity right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit almost changed my sway, my motherfucker. Shout out to her. Yeah. Wow. I didn't, I, I didn't see that part. You said yeah, it was, it was yeah, sort of, yeah, yeah, it was late, bro. It was late. Yeah. It was late. With that being said, I would also like to just shout out to all the, like you said, it's. It's a lot of, you know what I'm saying, women out here with kids, mm-hmm. and that's just on their shit. And like you said, that's attractive, but really shout out to the women doing it, because there's more cases than not women out here with kids, mm-hmm. and no father a picture, no father in the picture opposed to fathers with kids and women not in the picture. Right. Shout so, out to them, uh, shout out to the, to, to the youngins who's accepting the single mothers and being that father figure for them children that don't have a father figure in their life, that biological father figure. Yeah, if that's what you into, shout out shout to you out for that. Shout out to them. Um, shout out to the men that's in they, you know what I'm saying, in they situation 10 toes down. I was about down. to say that too. Shout yeah. out to y'all too because y'all be, y'all just don't, y'all, sometimes y'all be going, I know this. Shout out to the baby fathers that you know try yeah. 150 percent even yeah. when their baby mother tripping yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, and if you a baby mother that be tripping and you know what I'm saying be putting a whole bunch of bullshit in the air to the kids when you're really just not trying to let the baby father get to their kid right. because he dealing mm. with a girl that's mm. not you. And if you a father that's not really in the picture of your kids, then you a fuck bitch and you a fuck nigga. Mm. Get y'all shit together. But listen, on that note. That's all the time that we got for tonight. <laughs> Can you say that one last... Say that first sentence that you said, though. You said, we go what? What'd you say, Jordan? You said, we go what? Um, you said, we go unnoticed? Oh, um, I noticed, yes. Y'all man, shout out to you, man. You made me smile <laughs> with that one. Cause we definitely what are you talking about us, though? 
Uh-huh. She was she was you wasn't talking about us, was she? Nah, you? Nah, she talking about I black mean. men go unnoticed. Okay. Boy, that work that we put in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just let us rock with it. In all context. Yeah, context. just let us rock with it. Just, let, context, us, just let us rock with it. Just let us rock with it. Just let us rock with it. Thank you. Shout out to the queen. Shit, we giving it right back at you. Sure, <laughs> man. Um, and shout out to you again for your B day weekend. You know what I'm saying? I hope Thank it was, you. Hope it was turned up for you. you know what I'm saying, hope that shot ain't hit you too hard. It looked like you, 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 you got back on top of the mountain. I was good. Yeah, I'm good now. Yeah, that I'm shot good. had you a couple steps behind, but you got back. <laughs> on, you got back on top of the mountain. So shout out to you for that. Um, but listen, everybody that's tuning in, whether you're watching on YouTube, listening on whatever respected podcast platform, make sure that you hit subscribe, comment, like, dislike. I don't care. Just keep it 100 with me. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all every week. Um, but make sure that you hit subscribe so that you can be kept up to date for every episode that is released every week. i like to give a special shout out to my special guest today, Jordan and Cam, for pulling up. Thank the both of y'all. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Until next time, everybody, make sure y'all stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed, and work on your jumper so you don't turn out like a little baby on All-Star Weekend. (laughs) Peace.